right, so here he is with much fanfare, the number one lightweight contender challenging for UFC gold here tonight. Hay is in the barn. He feels like he has put in all the requisite work to realize the dream here tonight. He's been working so hard. When you watch the videos, you can see a guy that will not accept anything less than being super prepared for the biggest opportunity of his career. He has worked diligently. He has trained hard. He has brought in training partners. He's done everything. Now it's all about going out there and executing. He said he feels he's ready to do that and become the UFC champion. But it must be stated in this division with all of the contenders, oftentimes you only get one crack. Let's see what he can do. All right, so here's the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has bullas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Habib is as undefeated as fighter Habib, but we love getting the opportunity to see Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take it on and he wants to drown you. This guy's a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with Hasbulla in his corner. And if Hasbulla didn't have any value, probably wouldn't be in the corner of Habib Nurmagomedov. We'll see how it goes for the former lightweight champ tonight. Habib Nurmagomedov has graced the octagon. He is ready to go. Our tail of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Mark. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. He is undefeated. He is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. And what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Habib Nurmagomedov figures to go to the takedowns early and often here tonight, but if he needs to strike, we have seen a constant evolution when it comes to his striking. This is one of the best fighters in any division. And Habib Nurmagomedov back at it tonight. Oh, nice. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Habib's in half goal. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, right into Mount. up the triangle now, DC. This could very well be the beginning of the end. Oh, it looks like they're gonna fight. Look at him, he's starting to finish the ball right now. He slams him down, uses great power to escape that triangle choke. Great job, great technique. I mean, great physicality yeah. by this youngster. And just when you thought he might get submitted, instead he turns defense into offense and power bombs his opponent on the canvas. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Hammer fist here by Nermago Medov. There it is, now he's going to mount.
All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Making all these shots count. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Now he's going full mount. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. And another one. Another strike from the top lands for him. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Yep, got to be very careful there. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. Working out of the half guard here. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts, even when they get him. He continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these take these submissions. Yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Oh, staying busy from top position, he lands another ground strike there. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat. Fighter trying to pass here, ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, setting up for a submission now. All right, looks like that Darcy's tight. Good job by the champ there. Sliding back up. Can't get it, good awareness by the defensive fighter. Nemanko Medos, right back to the full mount. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Submission attempts and bunches, another one here. That Darce is tight. You gotta be kidding me. How good is this? This dude is constantly dodging bullets, oh, man. So a strong five minutes down. You lost that last round. He's really one step ahead of you on the submissions. You're doing a great job with your defense, but we have to avoid those positions altogether and become offensive. All right, so there's the end of the round. It had a little bit of everything and nearly a finish due to a submission. But you see, when you're on the ground with him, you're in danger. Yeah. You're constantly under attack. There is no place to rest. Where you can rest with most guys, you got to be very aware against this guy, or he's going to catch you with something that you can't get out of. All right, here we go. Our next round is underway. And how about the submission defense on that young man? He's so well versed in all areas of mixed martial arts, and that was a full display as he defended a real deep submission attempt. Nermago Medovs bleeding from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. Wow. Oh, how about the judo toss there? Judo 101. Good solid strike on the ground. Oh, another strike lands from the top.
Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Nurmago Medov's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Oh, Dars. Yep, he's trying to hit the Dars here. That Dars choke is tight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Lands the ground and pound strike. He's got to be careful here. My great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. The reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they could be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. Nurmago Medov's in half guard. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Great defense by the defensive fighter. He Bottom needs fighter to move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, Johnny. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Great job landing the strike from his back. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Beautiful ground and pound. And now he's got his opponent cut. And now he's got the back. <laughs> Khabib's back in side control. Get the ball here. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to hunt. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Well, perhaps it's a high fight IQ. Perhaps it's obvious, but he is attacking that cut that he's getting deeper by the minute. And it seems like the right decision because you can see his opponent starting to paw at it. You can see it starting to take an effect. It's messing with him mentally. For him, he's got to continue to attack that area and hope that it just keeps getting worse and worse. Oh, right into mount. 20 seconds to go round two. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nurmago Meadow. This is where he wants to be. His left eye pretty swollen at this point. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? Uh, you got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off in a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, let us re-rack some replays of the damage done in that round, see if we can isolate the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, a nasty cut opens up when he lands there. It's a beautiful shot that gets to the target. He has not been responsible defensively, and he's really paying for it because now he's dealing with that nasty cut. Ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Just misses with that big right hand. 
And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Choosing to engage in the clinch now. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot. Yancy jump. to avoid that damage coming down. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. All right, feet on the hips here. Just like this. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle. He finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Oh, no, Just when it looked like he might get submitted, he slams his opponent down with authority as the tide turns here. That eye's starting to close. Khabib's trying for a Kimura here. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Wow, somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Really good job of landing these strikes from top position. Another strike gets through from the top position. All right, hammer fist here by Nermago Meta. Setting up for another submission now. Arm is very tight. Oh my gosh, how did he get his arm? Unbelievable. He looked like he was done, but he was able to slip the arm out and stay safe. Beautiful ground strikes landed. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Great defense by this fighter. Romago Medov's got the full mount. Oh, big elbow. Wow, he is landing time and time again on that cut. Oh, he got to his spot. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. All right, so it has been punches and strikes in bunches tonight. His opponent is wearing it. And when you see swelling like that, maybe a facial fracture or something. Well, it seems as though something's hurt bad here. The last time I saw somebody get this one, I remember watching Ioana and Jacek's head, looking at the just size blow up. You know that damage is getting done. And every time he hits him on these spots, it hurts worse than anything you could imagine. Great shot from the top position. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Khabib's right back to the full mount here. Under a minute to go in the round. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Just because he got taken down doesn't mean he ain't gonna punch. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. Nermago Medov's in half goal. Are working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, oh somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. 10 seconds now to go in the round. Nemako Medov's back in side oh. control here. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. Nice work. You really pushed the pace that way. Excellent wrestling. I love your ground control.
this round, we're going to do that. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? You ready? Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up the training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this. Oh! Oh, lands a hip toss now. There it is, now he's going to mount. Oh, man, that's hard to watch, right? Targets that swollen area, and it's getting worse by the minute. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Oh, good ground and pound here. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Khabib's in half guard now. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. And there you go, again, half guard. Now he's going full mount. I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You, know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab him, pull him into you to try to change it and get him in your realm where you have the advantage. Well, doing his able best to avoid the ground and pound here. Nice job, Biner Magomedo. Massive shot from the top. Another ground and pound strike lands. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. Trying to recover full guard here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Fighter trying to pass here, but gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. And there you go, again, half guard. He should be trying to get back to his feet. All right, so the damage continues to be doled out. And I think a lot of fans watching at home would probably like to see the referee call in the dock. And, and that's very rare, because fight fans want to see violence. But right now, you have seen enough. This guy is beat. This guy is battered. He doesn't have much more. He has not done the right things to allow for himself to win this fight. Nurmagomedov's back in full guard now. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Oh, he reversed position there on the ground, and he's now in the dominant position. Khabib's back in full mount. Oh, that cut is looking nastier by the minute. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Now potentially working on a submission instead. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Nice positional control here.
Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Oh, man, he's just getting tattooed on that already compromised spot. Might need to call in the doctor here if you're the referee soon. Final seconds of the round. Oh, these are some serious power punches from the top by Nermago Medov. Close guard. 20 minutes down. Potentially five to go. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, let us show you all that was done in terms of the damage in that previous round. He has got a huge gash on his cheek. I mean, there was that shot right there. That one landed and opened him up. What a nasty combination thrown by his opponent, but this cut now is another issue to deal with. He's got one of the best fighters in front of him, and he's dealing with this cut on the cheek. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Lands a solid takedown right there. Trying to recover full guard there. It's a great ground and pound by this man. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. So you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, when you get in a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing position. Unreal to see. Well, he's got his back now. I can see the ringside position starting to get up because that cut has gotten to a very bad place. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Oh, looked like that strike from the bottom fighter got the crowd's attention. Side control, he's pretty safe there. All right, so when is too much too much? I mean, I'm not sure I need to see this fighter absorb any further damage here tonight. It's okay if his corner or the ringside position calls a stop to this thing. He has been battered, he has been beaten, and the result is not going to change. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Good work from the top here by Nermago Meta. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Under three minutes remain in round five. You got fight. Well, that is as bad a cut as we have seen in some time. You see the referee monitoring things closely. We might get a stoppage soon. Yeah, he needs to monitor. And, John, many times we are on the officials to stop the fight. This is one of those times where it needs to happen right now. Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. North-South position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Constantly a moving target. He needs to shove the knees. Get his opponent's knee off of his belly so he can get to his feet. Nermago Medov's back in full now. This is a terrible position. He is really doing a nice job with his head movement here defensively on the ground to avoid further punishment. He isn't waiting until his opponent throws. He's being proactive. And when his opponent throws, he's already moving, so he's missing it. Ninety seconds to go in the fight. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Nermago Meta. Nice shots landing from the top position. Oh, and he 
locks up a triangle. That looks tight, DC. It's very tight. And now he's just got to start passing the over cross. Look at him. He's starting to finish it over. He slams him down. He uses great power to escape that triangle. So great job. Great technique. I mean, great physicality by yeah. this youngster. And just when you thought he might get submitted, instead he turns defense into offense and power bombs his opponent on the canvas. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Oh, good defense, yes. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. 20 seconds left. Way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Need to fight now. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nermago Meadow. And there is the final horn. What a 25-minute affair tonight. We're going to the scorecards. All right, so they came in unquestionably the two best in the world in this division, and they showed you exactly why here tonight. A lot of people may think the challenger did enough for me, slightly into the champion to retain his title. I agree with you, John. I thought the champion did just enough to keep his belt. And this has nothing to do with you got to beat the champ to get the belt. No, the champion outworked him in the big spots, and he should retain his title. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50, 46, 49, 45, and 49, 45. We play the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. All right, so judges' scorecards needed not often the case when Khabib Nurmagomedov competes, but he gets it done by decision and keeps that O in the loss column. And if you want to win a decision, you want it to look like this. You want it to look dominant. He looked dominant tonight in all areas of mixed martial arts. There is no question who's going to get their hand raised tonight when they get to the center of the octagon.